Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. Well, I am at home again this week, puppy sitting. Yes, more on that later, but if you've not seen one of these before, this is my Midweek Update, where I bring you my news, views, and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm gonna put 180 seconds in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, and that's it, a very simple format. So, without further ado, Let's get cracking with this week's Midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Okay, first comment last week was the Speed Machine 35. That is now 2-1, Speed Machine 35 to Vinnie Vincent. Whoever puts the first comment this week, I will give you a shout out next week. Let the battle royale commence. Where are you and what you're doing? I've got two of those. Jamie Pickles was watching videos from Detroit Motor Show, but then tuned into the Midweek 180. I like your style, sir. Uh, and Lewis Ramsden was watching at two o'clock in the morning because he couldn't sleep. But wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below and I will give you a shout out next week. Now, last week's question was all about what you thought the most unreliable cars were. Now, it was really interesting. I got a single vote for pretty much every car manufacturer you can think of, from VW to McLaren, but there were a couple of brands that got multiple votes. Maybe no surprise, the number one was Jaguar Land Rover, but the Land Rover bit of Jaguar Land Rover, which was quite a long way in the lead, actually. And then the second one was actually BMW. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one right there. Please don't have a go at me in the comments. It's your thoughts, not mine. Um, <laughs> this week's question. Now, I wanna know what you think the ugliest car ever made is. Now, I've seen two of these <laughs> Chrysler PT Cruiser convertibles. Oh, my eyes on the roads in the last week. And honestly, for me, that's just terrific. And also, San Yong made a couple of howlers as well. The Rodius and the older Rexton's looked awful too. But what do you think the ugliest car ever made was? <laughs> I'd love to know what you think. Now, new car news this week has to be this. So, Aston Martin have released an upgrade pack to the Valkyrie called the AMR Track Performance Pack. Um, now, basically, you get bolt-ons, you get a new front clamshell, a complete second set of exterior panels, titanium brakes, track suspension, alloys with some really cool aero dishes on them, and apparently makes it 8% quicker. But also, some really lovely renders of new color options. This one I particularly like. It's called Slipstream Green. But yeah, so if you if you buy an Aston Martin Valkyrie and decide it's not fast enough, then you can make it go faster and make it look cooler, which I think is really, really very smart. And then another bit of new car news this week. I've just seen one article on this. This is the potentially new Land Rover or Range Rover. To, it's like the mini version to go up against things like the Mini Countryman, um, Nissan Duke, BMW X1. It looks very Evoke-like. Um, not a huge amount of detail on it at the moment, but I think that would be quite interesting because it would take the Range Rover brand, the target price of that car is below £25,000. I would love to know what you think of it. And then the last thing is this Friday's video at six o'clock is very special. I finally got to drive the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera and it was unbelievable. When you drive a 715 horsepower, 900 newton meter car on a temperature or on a day where the temperature was three degrees, yeah, it's a lot of fun, but you've incredible. got to tune in on Friday at six for that. And that, my dear peddlers, is that. Hey, that's not bad time this week. But yeah, no, Friday's video, very, very special. Um, I actually take it out with James from Aston Martin Chichester and he gives us a really good chat around some of the really special things about the car. So you cannot miss that. It's a very, very special car. Um, one of the most powerful and valuable cars I've ever driven actually. But I'm gonna draw this video to a close there. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, Please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come and I will see you on the next video, which is this Friday at six o'clock for the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera. Now, I promised you some petrol pup updates. So I'm just gonna walk over, grab my camera. I've got two things to show you before we go. So first of all, I get my camera off its tripod. Uh-huh, and we go over here. So there's the petrol Pooch, you're not very impressed with the new dog, are you, mate? No. But we have to walk through to the boot room. So the petrol pup has a new favourite place. <laughs> she absolutely loves sleeping. Look, she's asleep. 
Hello mate, it's your fan base look. See, she's trying to be fast asleep there, but yeah, she loves sleeping. And this is where we kind of feed it in the boot room. So um, anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you on the next video guys, Friday at six for the Aston Martin DBS Super Legira. You're not gonna miss that one, it's awesome. See you then.